This is the uh, homework for lesson five, module seven, second grade. Start with your name. <clears throat> and we have to use this table. It's given right here, that's the table, uh, to <clears throat> complete the bar graph and then answer some questions. Uh, so first we need a title, don't forget it. We can just use the title for the table. Number, number of nickels, and we, we have one, two, four categories. Here's our categories. This is going to be our scale. We don't have that many categories, so these have to be the categories, and this will have to be the scale. The, this will have to be the, uh, this will have to be the categories, and this is our scale. So our categories. Justin, Melissa, Megan, and Douglas. Justin. Melissa. Megan. Douglas. So this must be uh, four people who have nickels. And that's how many nickels they have. Uh, let's see our scale. The largest number we're going to need to graph will be 13 nickels. And let's just make it looks like we're going to have enough here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going to have enough to count by ones. Our first line here is going to be 0. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, and that last one would be 14 nickels. And then now we just graph them. Justin has 13. That's going to be almost all the way to the end. So we can stop here at 13 for Justin. And that's going to be his bar will go all the way across to 13. If we counted them all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that would be 13 if we did them one at a time. Melissa has 9 nickels, so if we go to the 9 here, straight up, that's going to be 9. Megan has 12, that's going to be almost as many as Justin. So 12 is going to go up to here. And Douglas has seven. So here's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see that's where it ends, seven. You notice these numbers are under the lines that show like that's seven squares there. When you get to that line, it's been seven whole squares. And that sometimes that, that becomes important later on. If you have a scale where you're, you're counting two at a time and then seven in between the six and the seven would be six and a half. And so now you're looking at the line and you're, that, that's what matters, where you, where you put the number. You want to be careful when you're making these scales. If you have to draw them by hand and they don't have the lines up drawn for you for where to put the numbers, be careful where you put the numbers. <clears throat> so that's our graph. And then let's, let's move this up here and we'll look at the questions. How many more nickels does Megan have than Melissa? Well, here's Megan and here's Melissa. Megan has more. How many more? One, two, three more. How many fewer nickels does Douglas have than Justin? How many fewer? Same as less. So there's Douglas. There's Justin. Justin has a lot more. That means Douglas has a lot less. How many less? We can just go right up here and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be six fewer. Doug, Justin has six more then Douglas has six less or six fewer. And if we want to just look at the numbers, 13, 
minus because it's 13 for Justin and 7 for Douglas. That would be the 6. The difference between the two. Circle the pair that has more nickels, Justin and Melissa, or Douglas and Megan. And then say how many more. So Justin, we have to figure out how much each pair, right? Pair is two. So Justin and Melissa together have uh, what, 13. And, and I know a lot of you are just going to look at these numbers and do it all in your head, but you really should at least just write down these numbers here just so we can see the numbers that you worked with. Justin and Melissa, that's 13 and 9. And then Douglas and Megan, that's Douglas is 7. Megan is 12. <clears throat> I can see that this is going to be 19 and this is going to be 22 then I can see that that's three more three more and oh, I have to circle the pair who has more that's Justin and Melissa so there I circle the pair who has more and it's three more and what's the total number of nickels if all the students combine all of their money then we have to figure out 13 plus 9 plus 2 12 plus 7 and you could look at that and say well I could get a 20 out of this and that might be but we already had 22 and 19 right here so we could we really already have we already have it down to two numbers and we could just add those we could do it that way and say that uh, that 22 plus 19 it's the same as 21 plus 20, so that's going to be 41. And if we did this, and I would want to make a 20 out of these two numbers here, right? And call that 20, and then 9 plus 12, that's 21. It's, it's, it, it's the same way I just kind of broke it down in my head here. It's still going to come to 41 because it's the same numbers we're adding. But either way you do it, it's going to come to 41. That's the first page. Second page, we're going to make another bar graph. Use the table to complete the bar graph and then answer the following questions. Here's the table. Dimes donated. So this must be about uh, people who are donating dimes. Kylie, Tom, John, and Shannon. Uh, so we have four categories here, and here's... Four categories here for our graph, so I'm just going to go ahead and use their initials. K, T for Tom, J for John, and S for Shannon. And our scale is already written in for us here. So we don't have to worry about that. And we can see the biggest number here is the largest number, 15. And that's the that's how many squares we have to shade in. So we'd be able to count by ones. We could have figured that out, but it's already done for us. Oh, and don't forget the title dimes donated gotta have a title sometimes it's the easiest thing to forget or leave out it really matters and I, I just like to do this you don't have to but I like to label this because what are we counting we're counting dimes Right, so I just like to have a little label there that, so, so I can remember what it is. It shows what it is that's being counted. It's always important to remember what you're counting. How many dimes did Shannon, Shannon donate? Oh, we got to finish our graph. Getting ahead of myself here. 12 for Kylie. That goes up to here. If you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll go up to there, and that's where the 12 line is. So we don't want to go over it, because that would be 13. We just want to keep 12. That line is the top. And Tom here, if he, if he had actually donated only 0, then we would just leave it alone because that would be zero would be right there. 
one would be right here, but he's got 10. So if we count it up to 10, it would go up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tom, and then John, fifteen. He goes all the way, just that's all the way to the top because it's all we have. And Shannon has 13 donated. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, and that should go right up to the top. 13. the questions how many dimes did Shannon donate we can just look right at it Shannon 13 how many fewer dimes did Kylie donate than John and Shannon so John and Shannon put together is gonna be a lot more than Kylie so that means Kylie's gonna have fewer John and Shannon put together that's 15 and 13 which is going to come out to be 28 and Kylie had 12 by herself so we have to figure out the difference between 28 and 12 and we can do the subtraction <clears throat> you can just take uh, 2 from that A we don't have to regroup anything so we can just look at the digits and uh, figure out that it's 16 fewer is the difference between those two. How many more dimes are needed for Tom to donate the same as Shannon and Kylie? Okay, so we got to figure out Shannon and Kylie first. We want to draw a tape diagram. We're going to have Shannon, Shannon and Kylie, uh, Shannon 13. Kylie was 12. Together, that's 25. And Tom, you don't have to draw a tape diagram for this, but uh, you she should show at least at least show the numbers that you, that you're working with and write them under their names, uh, just so you can show the numbers that what you did. Did you add or subtract? What numbers did you add or subtract? That's what we need to see. We just we don't want to just see a number written down here. We need to see some I something that shows your thinking. Uh, and Tom had ten. That's going to be an easy number to work with. All right. So Tom had ten, and now this is the how many more he needs to make it the same. And how much is that? It's 25 minus 10. So if it's somewhere around here, you just wrote 25. If right here, you just wrote 25 minus 10. That would be that would be enough to show he needs 15 more dimes. And how many dimes were donated in total? We have 12 plus 10 plus 15 plus 13. Uh, if we look at this, I see I could make a 5 here, and I have a 5 there. So that could end up being a 10. So that's going to be 12 and 13. That's going to be 25 plus 15 plus 10. And these two 5s are going to make a 10. That's 30. So there's 30. That's 40. And another 10, that's 50. So there's 50 dimes. 50 dimes. That's $5. And we're done with lesson 5 homework.